I'm Brian Professor B. Davis. This is your San Francisco 49ers postgame recap on Niners Radio. This is the final, the final Sunday of this 2020 now 2021 campaign of the first, as this the final Sunday of this what it has been a difficult, difficult year. Now as 2020 has come to an end, now it's the new year. In fact, the first full week of the new of 2021 which has been ever since uh, a, a horrendous over the past 10 months with the pandemic the 49ers in their regular season finale falling just a buck short to the playoff bound Seattle Seahawks winners over your reigning NFC champion 26 to 23 as the Niners uh, kept fighting to the end and just you know Seattle it was just too much of Russell Wilson and the Seahawks, Russell Wilson and and Tyler Lockett in the fourth quarter, who you know, continuing that too, continue to been Niner twin Niner killers over the years, as the Niners as Seattle end up with their victory, end up going picking up a 12 win season for the Seahawks and their playoff bound, of course, for the ninth time under Pete Carroll. Since 2010, their eighth playoff appearance in the last nine years. So let's just set it back. We set it back up in the first quarter. The Seahawks got on the board first on a Jason Myers 37 yard field goal. It was 3 to nothing in favor of the Seahawks. And then Myers hit another field goal and it was 6 to nothing. Seahawks led. And then the second quarter, Tristan Biscayne, Tristan Biscayne, who who the Niners acquired, who signed this week in replace of place kicker Robbie Gold, who just was placed on the COVID list and signed a brand new contract extension. Vizcaino hit a 36-yard field goal that put them on the board six to three. Niners on six plays and 61 yards to get their first points on the board. Then the third quarter, Vizcaino boomed a 46-yard field goal and made it to tie the game at 6-6, and then Vizcaino hit a 33-yard field goal. That put the Niners up 6-9. Then let's fast forward to the fourth quarter. Jeff Wilson, a 7-yard touchdown run. That put the Niners up 16-6. Niners on 11 plays, 73 yards in 5 minutes and 44 seconds. Then Wilson connected with Tyler Lockett for a touchdown. They missed the extra point. Niners still have a four-point lead, but then it was on that fourth down play, which this was the was, was the ball game right there. Fourth and goal. Wilson connected with Lockett for a touchdown. And that actually, yeah, and that put them up by they that gave the Seahawks the lead and 19 to 16. And then then it was CJ Beffler got sack strip, lost ball, fumbled. The Seahawks got it back. Then Collins with an eight-yard touchdown put them up 26 to 16. Then the Niners got a pretty much a, a touchdown. Beathard to Wilson, another touchdown for Wilson in the contest that made the final 26 to 23. Let's give you to the stats of the game. 21 first downs for the Seahawks to the Niners 17. Seahawks were four out of 12 on third down. Though the Niners were just were six of 15. Fourth down, both the, the Seahawks were one for one, and that one, that one for one, was the difference of the ball game. Because if they don't convert on that fourth down play, the Niners comes out and will be flying home tonight as we're doing this taping. They'll be coming back to the Bay Area with a W, but it did not, it did not quite happen. Three hundred and twenty-eight net yards for the Niners to the Seahawks two eighty, two hundred and forty-two yards passing to the Seahawks one fifty-nine. Seattle had a ground attack, 121 yards rushing to the Niners, 86. Total plays of the game. Seattle, 65 to the Niners, 64. 20 out of 36 complete attempts for the Seahawks, 25-37 for your San Francisco 49ers. Niners had that one turnover by C.J. Beathard, that sack strip loss fumble was the difference of the game. It's the, for the Seahawks to drive and set for that, for that really the, the clinching touchdown by the running back, with well, the running back Collins, and then the the penalties. Niners were penalized only twice for 25 yards. 
That's pretty good. Seattle, four times for 35 yards. Top of possession, Niners, 32 minutes, 20 seconds to the Seahawks, 27 minutes and 40 seconds. Final numbers for, for C.J. Wilson. He was 25 out of 37, 273 yards. He threw touchdowns. Wilson had ended up having 20 carries for 76 yards and a touchdown. He also caught another touchdown as well. Kendrick Bourne led the Niners in receivers. Five catches, 76 yards. And George Stone Cold Kittle in his five, five catches for 68 yards. And also Jason Barrett had eight tackles and one assist. Fred Warner, all pro, going to the Pro Bowl. He had eight tackles. Russell Wilson, 20 out of 36, 181 yards, two touchdowns. Tyler Lockett, 12 catches for 90 yards. And look at the, the stats are for the game notes for, for Lockett. Lockett had had got 100 receptions, and he got 10 touchdowns for the season. He also is 27 and five. The Seahawks, when they, down in the dome down in Arizona, he has always played well down there at State Farm Stadium in Glendale over the years. And then for for Lockett also broke the season season record for 95 for for catches by a Seahawk. The single season record, the Eclipse Doug Baldwin record of 94 back in 2016. DK Metcalf, he passed up Hall of Seahawks Hall of Fame Hall of Fame legend Steve Largent, and he breaks Largent's single season record franchise record in receptions in a single season. He broke he sets the new record of 1,287 yards. That's a new franchise record. And then for Jeff Wilson, his four, four consecutive games with a touchdown, nine touchdowns for the season. So, with the loss, the Niners will finish the 2020 campaign with a 6-10 and 10 record, good enough for dead last in the NFC West. Seattle finishes the regular season with a 12-4 and 4 record. Niners, or the Seahawks are now 15-2 and 2 in their last 17 games versus San Francisco, dating back to week 16 of their 2012 campaign including those NFC championship games and Russell Wilson Seahawks are now six and one against the Niners away from Century Lake Field. They have the Niners have lost six of their last seven games against the Seahawks at home. And the Niners finishing with a six and ten record. Not only that, they finished with a one and seven record at home. That is a uh, Probably has the worst the worst rec home record in the NFC at least, and the Niners end up finishing up with for the fifth finishing up with it losing at least ten games or more for the fifth time in the last six years, and for the third time in the last four years under both Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch with this current regime they've lost at least ten games or more, and for the eleventh time since 1999. 11 times now since 1999, the Niners were finished with double-digit losses. So, this was an unfortunate season for the Niners with all what has happened with the injuries. They end up, for the year, having 43 players on IR, 52 starters, 43 of those players either on injured reserve or on the COVID-19 list. 52 starters and 80 players, more players than any team in football. They had second most all the football. They've had roster changes. Uh, you know, it was just a, it was a mass unit. And who would have ever believed at the beginning since that Super Bowl loss back in early February to the Chiefs for the Niners who were seven and a half minutes away from winning their sixth Super Bowl in their last seven trips to the Pro football's biggest game. Then the COVID hit, which wiped out the entire OTAs and the entire preseason uh, was was canceled for the first time ever. And then with all the injuries, really players going in on IR and just injury after injury after injury after injury, and just you know you got to give John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan credit. And I, the great line by. John Lynch, who said on his on the pregame show last week or on KMBR 680 on the Niners flagship station, said in one of the interviews, he said, hey, 
we're, the guys the guys are trying to play up to a standard, and that's the 49ers standard. That standard set by Bill Walsh years ago for a lot of us Niner fans who are, you know, in the, in the in a lot of us in our 40s and 50s who saw the 49ers in their true glory, or people in their late 30s and my age in our, in our 40s and some people in their 50s during the glory days of the Niners growing up in the 80s, that was the 49ers standard, the standard of playing up and known as the Niner way. But so we have to be pleased with that, you know, and really the guys threw up and didn't have to be forced to play down in Arizona, relocate because of the uh, COVID restrictions down in the South Bay. And really you have to give the York Niners organization a lot of credit for, you know, playing out, giving it all what they had throughout this difficult season throughout the greater San Francisco Bay Area and beyond. And then, you know, this is, you know, maybe the best thing that could happen because, hey, they cut, kind of now need a break and say, hey, you know, like kind of the finale that the season's over now, that you won't be playing for the playoffs and won't be getting ready next week for the playoffs. And, you know, like they say, hey, time to surrender. You know, surrender, get rest, and go through the, you know, process again. About a month from now, they'll be getting ready to hit the weights and, you know, get back at it. You have the combine. About a couple weeks after the Super Bowl, the NFL combine down in Indianapolis. And then the new league year, free agency period. Of course, the salary cap, 40-something players are up for free agency. The salary cap situation is going to drop down significantly next year because of, you know, the lost revenues of COVID-19. And the loss because of loss of revenue because of without fans in the stands this year throughout most stadiums, including the 49ers, throughout this 2020 campaign. So we also have to look at also is uh, we're gonna have a they're gonna be in the coming days and weeks, in the coming months we'll see because next year the roster is gonna change and new names, new faces come and go. Robert Sala. This could be his final game as Niners defensive coordinator. It's speculation. He's planning for some coaching jobs. Speculation. He's going to interview for the Atlanta Falcons coaching job. And he's going to interview for the Detroit Lions job possibility because he's from the Detroit area from Dearborn, Michigan. So there's a lot to, you know, within the coming days and the coming weeks, though. So he's one of the top candidates uh, right now. And, you know, a lot of free agency. What, will Jimmy be back? Speculation is he is the franchise quarterback. Uh, lot, they're going to have, Niners going to have about at least nine picks in the draft. And the April draft in 2021 will give you all the, the latest offseason news on Niners radio. So, we just want to get the, a reminder of the, the programming note coming up for, for 49er fans to, uh, Armchair quarterback with Anthony Garcia and Keon Martin. Recap of Sunday's game. That will be Monday at 4 o'clock. That will be on NBC Sports Bay Area. And then 49ers press conference will be on Monday. The final press conference of 2020. Laura Brett and Ian Williams will be at the NBC Sports Bay Area's desk. And they will give you the final Kyle Shanahan's press conference. Where the Niners go for here for this offseason. That will be at 430 on NBC Sports Bay Area. Then Tuesday will be Niners Talk with Brian Bauer, Dina Howard. We'll go on the air at 7 p.m. on Niners Radio. You can call in your thoughts about the season, what the Niners do for the draft. And there's going to be a lot of changes in this offseason, but this is a young team. They will definitely be back when they're healthy. They're one of the best teams in that NFC West, competitive NFC West. So then also a reminder... For Niner fans, if you want to, for season tickets for 2021, please call the 49ers at 415-GO-49ERS. 415-GO-49ERS. And by Jack of the Box, the Niners, of course, scored two more touchdowns today on Sunday. So you will get yourself a free Jumbo Jack burger with a purchase of a large drink. You get a purchase of a large drink. When you purchase a large drink, you get a free Jumbo Jack burger. That will be good on Monday, the day after the game, go and that is go to your local Bay Area participating Jack in Box restaurants to, for this promotional deal. And Niners football 
presented by Pete's Coffee. Pete's Coffee, the official coffee provider of your San Francisco 49ers. So in the meantime, that's going to do it for the final um, post-game report on Niners Radio 2020. I'd like to thank everybody, for all you Niner fans who hung in there during this very difficult season. You know, and for this is, of course, our seventh season doing this, my fourth year on Niners Radio. And this is our seventh or our, my ninth. been doing this for a long time, going back to the Candlestick Park era. So this is kind of my 10th year doing Niners post game. As with Bay Area Sports Weekly, we merge with ASN Bay Area and we have Niners Radio, part of the ASN Bay Area family, like to thank all the people who have uh, been there. And, you know, from Brian Bauer, Dina Howard, and for really the, the Niner Empire, we usually have our, unfortunately, we're not able to have our 49 pregame show live at Empire Road this year down in Santa Clara because of the COVID restrictions for Antonio Barlow. And those guys, uh, Abel, Angelica, Lisa Gutierrez, if you're watching Lisa, hope you get well. I know she's having had the bell with the COVID down there in the great, and all the Niner fans, the 408 chapter down there. It's really for all the people you've seen on Niner's pregame live down there, struggling with the COVID down there in the great, down in the South Bay. We'll just be praying for, to have our, that you be healthy to fight this horrible disease and also for all you fans who it really for and also a really shout out to the Jed York to the York for Kyle Sh or John Lynch and Al Guido the team president the 49ers organization and the Arizona Cardinals for letting the Niners play down there in Arizona and thank you all you faithful during this difficult time you know this is where we had to be you had to make an adjustment you know we we're hoping we were able to have a full full pregame but the COVID just could, did not dictate, it did not go away, and there wasn't no improvement. So we had to spend the entire season here at the ASN Broadcast Center here in San Francisco doing our pregame throughout the entire 2020 season. But, you know, this thing won't last forever. Hopefully, you know, in the spring or next summer, we'll, in eight months' time, before you know it, in eight months' time, we'll be back doing this again for preseason. And in nine months' time, we'll get ready to do this again for the 2021 season, and more importantly, next year for the 49ers, it will be the 75th anniversary of this franchise, this proud franchise who existed since 19, came in as the, one of the original members of the American Football League in 1946, and joined the NFL now in their 71st season, joining the NFL in 1950. It will be their 46th year, or their 75th anniversary, and more importantly, next year, will, in 2020, 21 would be the 40-year anniversary of the Niners' first Super Bowl title in the franchise history, their first of four in the 80s, and their first of would be five Super Bowl titles in the, this historic franchise history. So that's it for now. I'm Brad with Best Days. For the latest news of the 49ers and so much more, and follow the Niners all offseason, we'll be having some Niners radio specials throughout the offseason up towards the draft. And, you know, hopefully around this time next year, Next year, I'm we'll optimistic that things will be totally different, that we'll be able to have our pregame show, have our weekly shows and specials uh, when things uh, get back to normal in 2021. So that's it for now. From I'm Brian Professor B. Davis. The final score on Sunday for the last time, Niners win it or lose to the Seahawks, 23-26. to Niners fall to 6-10. and Seahawks finish the regular season 12 and 4. There be and the Niners will finish 6 and 10. And a reminder, we will have a Niners 2020 recap, a season recap in the coming days and weeks on Niners Radio. And where the Niners go from here, recap where they go here in the offseason. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis and Solo. You've been watching 49ers post game recap for the final time of this 2020 now 21 campaign. Niners fall to the Seahawks, 26-23. On behalf of the 49ers and the entire organization, we thank you, Niner faithful, being faithful of the Bay. And we'll talk to you again real soon. 49ers football, forever faithful to the Bay.